from the CBS 3 studios in Philadelphia. This is Eyewitness News. On the CBS 3 Health Watch tonight, first of its kind technology arrives in Philadelphia helping paralyzed patients walk again. We're on your side. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl joins us now in the studio with some exclusive details. This is pretty mm -hmm. remarkable. Wait huh? till you see this. This is very exciting. This is for people who struggle to move and walk. Now, robotic technology, a first in Philadelphia, is helping them get their lives back. This is an amazing feat for Dolores McWilkin. She suffered a stroke in September and couldn't move the left side of her body. You can't do anything on your own. You need help with everything. But she's making progress and is getting back on her feet with the help of a new robotic system called the Vector, now offered at McGee Rehabilitation Hospital. Strapped in and attached to the robotic rail, it senses the patient's movement and follows along. Physical therapists like Alexander Cobb can program the robot to assist patients depending on their needs. What it does is it allows us to support a certain number of pounds or a certain percentage of a patient's body weight. So in essence, it takes some of the responsibility away from the their weak limb or their painful limbs um, so they can walk with more normal mechanics. The technology helps patients to strengthen their muscles and retrain their brain and body to walk again. Uh, it just allows us to get patient, more patients up, up sooner and allows the patients to progress quicker, so it's great for us. And it offers peace of mind. The robot can catch patients if they fall. Logically, the patient feels safer, they feel more secure, they can be a little more aggressive in their training and what they're doing. Dolores and her family are thrilled about this new opportunity. Opportunity. Today she's walking, so it's amazing, amazing. It's great to see. It's very hard, very intense, but it's helping me walk again. She's doing great. Now, McGee has the longest track for its robot in the world. Therapists say this type of training is usually done on a treadmill, but allowing patients to be able to walk down the hall to practice balancing and turning makes a huge difference in their recovery. We have a lot more information on all of this at CBSPhilly.com. Click on health. Dolores wow. is lucky she was here to have that therapy, right? Oh, we're lucky Good to live her. where we live, yeah, right? Exactly. I mean, wow. Steph, thank you very uh -huh. much.